the page of cups some of you guys may have to express your emotions this month you know really talk about them um some of you guys may be trying to have children um because the page of cups is would be your baby right it'll be your child or if you guys are looking to adopt that's one of them but i feel like the page of cups really isn't necessarily just about children because there is a nurturing element to the page of cups um but it's usually on something that's small something that's you know definitely manageable by a child like a fish or a pet of some sort like a, or a, you know a guinea pig or something like that but you know it, this could also indicate puppy love as well like this could be like a small you know spark of romance a small spark of feelings towards somebody or toward an individual now the page of cups can also indicate that this is somebody else coming in to, to, to communicate their feelings or to communicate their heartfelt um their heartfelt um you know selves to, to you right so i kind of get a feeling that there's some things there's some definitely some messages regarding emotions this month that's definitely going to be significant and it could be from your own child that may want to express something that they feel maybe um something that they've been kind of you know learning and taking and cultivating and growing themselves um but yeah let's see why why the page of cups is coming up why is the page of cups coming up why do they need to know that what what is the page of cups for the for the scorpio what is the page of cups for scorpio Okay, a burden being dropped. Let's see, what burden is this? What is the burden that is being brought up with the Page of Cups? Obviously something is overwhelming, so let's see what's up. The Two of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe it's a difficult decision to be alone. I think honestly you may have you know what the page of cups can also indicate that you have to just express how you feel about something and that feeling may be that you are tired okay i feel like the situation may be that you're tired with how something has been going on I, like i feel like you may be expressing the overload of of responsibility and weight that's you're carrying either in a relationship or a circumstance and either you you try to make a difficult decision between continuing to carry the load or completely being alone doing it you know going solo going in a direction solo just going to being single some of you guys may you know may, maybe the whole situation is that you guys are seeing the situation from only two ways of doing it i don't know if you guys have already communicated with the person how you feel and trying to figure out a solution for this or you guys already have and you're left with only two options but i feel like with the two of swords you, you know when it comes to two of swords right there's a blindfold you're not seeing the situation as clearly as you could be to help you make the right decision for you or help you you know pick the right truth that's yours right it's weird so why is this the message for scorpio for this month why is the message for scorpio the page of cups for this month Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So the Page of Cups, like I said, is a message. And you have the Wheel of Fortune coming up as to why all this is coming up. Some things that you have an opportunity to do something. And I think it's to commit to a relationship again. Because the, the Four of Wands is coming up here. So you guys have an opportunity possibly to re-stabilize a relationship or to to move to a higher place of commitment with a person from the past or someone that you already know. But the thing is, is that I think they're, scared, they're carrying a lot of baggage and it's hard to figure out whether or not it's better to just kind of go your own way knowing the baggage that this person's carrying. Um, and this baggage could be a child. Like I think the baggage could be that there's somebody, there's a, there's a child involved in the situation or like a brand new one not necessarily one that pre you know that's already existing i think this may be someone that's new and this child has baggage with possibly another person and you could love this child as your own but would you just be better off being on your own and doing your own thing 
I think that's the situation that's being torn from you right now. Some of you. Now, some of you guys, I think there is just simple, like, there is baggage here. Or there's some things that, you know, I think the the relationships in the past, you've always been trying to make work all the time. You've been working on them. You've been trying your best to make them work and putting your heart into it. But you haven't gotten that other reciprocation back. And you have thrived when you do things on your own. You've been, you create an empire. You create an empire on your own. You are very strong on your own. You know, you know your worth. But the thing is, is that, you know, you know, when you don't have to consider someone, it's easy to make a lot of those decisions, but it gets lonely. So what best option is there? Do you commute, do you, do you communicate your feelings? Do you open yourself up and take the risk to possibly carry another burden? But the thing is though, I think the biggest thing with the two of swords is that you, you know, again, I think there's a third option and I usually don't see this with the two of swords. I usually say you got to pick one or the other, right? Cause they're two contradicting truths. I feel like what you're having to figure out right now isn't necessarily as black and white as you're making it with the two of swords in your hand. I feel like there's a third option, and that third option may be that you consider your worth. You know your worth when you're when you're alone. You know how you know how committed you can be. How you know diligent you are at work when it, working on things, working on problems, working on situations, and you know that you have a really strong tolerance. You know that you can carry the weight of almost anything. But the problem is, is that you let the the weight go on. Either you let the weight you know get too heavy, and you don't let anybody know that you need help until you're just done with it, or you know that the situation is that you know you know the other you never make it clear to the other person. That this is a problem so i feel like i feel like the bit you know the, the the real thing i'm seeing here is the side that you're not seeing right the biggest you know the, you know the one of the options that you can have here is to express yourself express what you need express what you want and look at what you want and actually make a you know make plans to go after that goal because i feel like for a lot of you guys who you know there you've been you know you've been trying to make situations work and you've been also carrying the weight of the relationship and you don't shouldn't have to right it's either you are isolating you get everything that you want or you do everything alone but you also kind of get a lot of passion right? like you get a lot of interaction with this person so it's like you can't ever get one in between i feel like you can get the in between but you have to figure out what that in between is you have to express yourself then in between okay Let's see how this affects your love life specifically. Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, this may have to do may not have a lot to do with work. I mean, with with um with love, it may have to do with work. Maybe there's a, some things that work that you just have to express. That either is too much on your plate, you may have to delegate to your teammates, or you may have to figure out that, or maybe taking up your own business is what the Nine of Pentacles is suggesting. Being successful on your own. You know, thriving in your own business and not working underneath someone else. Because you can handle, you know, with all this work, you'd probably get more benefiting you if you did it yourself. How is this affecting your love life? Well, you have the, the two of cups. So, right next to the Wheel of Fortune, I already kind of get this feeling that you're, you know, that somebody that is around you right now. I think this reading may have a lot to do with just relationships and not so much work. But if it does have a lot to do with work, if this is a reading that's only work-based, then there's somebody in your life that's, that either, you know, that you met, that feels the same way about you, and it's helping you see what your needs are by being by them being themselves by them being presented in your energy or them being around you at all okay the lovers is such a great card this is also the perfect partnership so you may end up meeting someone that either yeah, it could, this could be a friend it doesn't have to be someone that's a legit lover and anything like that but i do feel like you meet someone that just works really well with you and that just helps you see things from a perspective that maybe you haven't thought about seeing yourself. Why is the love, why is the two of cups coming up for Scorpio in regards to their love lives? But it does also talk about. I think this is, does suggest maybe there's new love that comes in. You know, someone that matches you that feels the same way about you. Maybe there's a burden in regards to communicating your truth 
and maybe you're worried about it leaving you by yourself by expressing how you feel to this person but I don't think that's the case I think that expressing yourself is definitely worth the risk here considering that it's causing so much of uh, so much so much of a uh, cause of burden here now the four of wands just came out wow how does it affect your love life it's improved it's you know you've moved up in a higher place of commitment you know the power of wands you know it's improving your love life you know um this communication the page of cups um I feel like you guys are just like bogged down by things though with the ten of wands but I feel like this person if communicated you know I think you guys could communicate and work together work together as a team you don't have to do it by yourself and I feel like the idea of doing it by yourself doesn't ha you know you don't have to do it alone like you can do you can use the foundation that you work so hard to create to to take problems and dissect them together but it talks but it comes from talking first it comes from communicating your feelings you know what I mean and I feel like the ten of wands could be that you're carrying a burden that's you know that you know, so maybe that's something that's your problem something that's that's personal to you and you know you have a lot of pride in probably wanting to figure out and how to do it yourself but it leaves you isolated. That problem that you're solving leaves you isolated. And I feel like the only way for things to get better is if you express what you need. Trusting the foundation that you made to withstand any sort of, you know, problems that you have, even if it is strictly your issue. But I think it requires trusting the direction, or trusting uh, the, you know, the choice that you make in moving forward with that. So let's see what the overall outcome comes up for you guys, Scorpio. Let's see what you guys come up with. With your outcome. Alright, so your outcome is the Six of Cups. That is awesome. Another soulmate card. So. So, the Six of Cups does talk about the past. I think you guys may reconnect with someone that you used to know, someone that you love, and you know, someone that you've had history with, or you guys go back to a time where you were the most happy, where you, um, you know, where, where you felt the most in love. Okay, I think you guys, you know, some way recapture some of your innocence. But how the outcome is that you guys, I feel like you just enjoy the connection. There's a lot of reminiscing in this reading. A lot of it and I kind of get this feeling that um, I kind of get this feeling that with the six of cups in your outcome um, I do think that someone old comes in but I do feel like this reminds you of a time of deep love I feel like you also feel like a strong pet like uh, past life connection with this individual here I think this the bond deepens okay um, but the Six of Cups does represent the past and happy memories. And I think you're able to look at the past and be happy with how far you've come versus, you know, looking at what else needs to, you know, like necessarily dwelling on the future, if that makes sense. But you have to trust yourself, you know what I mean? You got to trust, you know, not necessarily trust yourself, but trust the relationship is strong enough to, you know, to handle whatever it is that you have to say. And... Yes, the Page of Cups talks about it needing growth, love, and, you know, nourishment to be healthy. That, that dream, this desire, this love, and it does. It, it takes time to get to know each person. And I don't think necessarily moving fast is what the biggest concern is. It's more of just, like, being vulnerable. That's the, that's the biggest thing. Being vulnerable is a hard part. And this person is very similar to you. I think they're very similar. They understand you know, because they're dealing with being, you know, trusting their foundation of the relationship to you. But it, you know, it takes one to start the whole trusting process. So just trust, guys. And see what the messenger oracles have to pull. Let's say for this, let's see what the messenger oracle says. Ah, seek the lesson. 
And Seek the Lesson does talk about, you know, looking at the situation from the circumstance of learning from something, learning from or learning something, right? So, you know, there's always a hidden, there's always a hidden um, meaning to everything that we do, always. And I feel like this is what, you know, what's emphasized here is that you have to see the situation from the bigger picture, you know, not just focusing on every little detail, but focusing on the overall, you know, the overall. So with Seek the Lesson, don't get so caught up in the details. Look at everything that's around you, you know, connect the dots with the past situation. See how you've improved and you've grown from a situation that's either similar to this or exactly the same from the, from the past, right? Everything has, you know, we learn things twice. More, well, we go through the situations more than twice or whatever, how many times we need to, to understand what we need from ourselves in this, in this, in any moment or in every moment that is repeated. So, Look for the rep, you know, look for the patterns, look for the synchronicities, you know, look for everything that seems to reoccur because that's what the lesson is everything that keeps coming back, everything that re, you know, restarts itself, you know what I mean, and see what needs to be seen, not necessarily from your external, from the external point of view, but an internal point of view, right? What do you need to learn? What do you need to feel? What do you need to express? How, what situation needs to be handled differently from the past? How did that situation go before? And what can you do differently now? Because the Wheel of Fortune is the prime, is the center of this reading here. Right above, seek the lesson. You know what to do this time. 